Hello folks, good too. Today is July 10th, 2016. I want to show you what I created just the other night. This man of 100% pure foam board, 6 year approach. The materials you need is foam board, hot glue, Curex tape, screws, a drill, a razor pen, and a box cutter. Pens, black and silver spray paint, a brush, along with black acrylic paint, and basically SPD stencil for the lettering. Without further ado, I also use Velcro on it too, as well as contact cement. Without further ado, the SPD Ooh. laptop. As for this is a six tier approach. I split the tiers into three sections. So it's two sections actually. Three here and three on for the screen. I drawn off the keyboards on this part and this part. And this is the guide for the arrow. Or you don't have to use the mouse, you just use your fingers and just what have you. This is the model replica of my real laptop. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I even cut the left button and the right button for the left click and the right click. So it types in, you got the basic. Key challenge the keyboard here and here. For this, I cut two pieces of foam board, which is the same length, same dimension as my laptop. With this part right here, the top part of the screen, I made a frame. I cut out a huge square out of it. <clears throat> I spray painted that thing silver and the next tier black I hot glued them together with another tier of foam board same ordeal but I had traced and drawn in some keyboard keys same approach with everything else you see here I uh, with the contact cement I've used my goggles and my breather mask outside by the way. The contact cement took overnight to dry. I used Velcro of course, this is right here. In here on bold edges. And then I used skewers for the inside of the laptop here and covered it with hot glue and tape and spray painted silver while it covered up the keyboard and the screen itself with more cardboard just to make sure it doesn't get any silver paint on it and all out took me about good four hours to make start to finish no joke four hours this was a big challenge to make and I'm glad I made this <clears throat> this some huge Power Rangers SPD fan. But for the lettering, I used my stencil. I covered up the letter PD to spray on the S, then pulled down for the letter P, same ordeal with the letter D. And the acrylic paint part is for the dots right here. So now, See the screws probably. Yeah. Probably gonna need eight. Or maybe up to ten or twelve. It all depends on you. Anyways, that's about this video. I'm the most real clear. I do sub sub, give one a shot, Tom Paul Quest only. I do three videos every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you're a subscriber, they're subscribing. If not, what do you hit that button? And if you want that shadow request, leave a screen below for any of my videos. And this is my homemade 
SPD laptop computer. Later.